Growing your family, downsizing or upgrading your touring unit, taking up cycling, or maybe you just need a bit of extra space. There's loads of reasons to add roof bars to your car. You could add a roof box to carry extra kit, especially if your caravan has a small payload. Or you could join the growing group of roof tenters. These have become popular in recent years and you'll want the right roof bars if you want to use one. There's a lot to consider, but here's how to choose the right roof bars for your car. Before you start researching types of bars and prices, it's worth checking how practical it will be to use the roof of your car for kit. Make sure you can get the load up there safely at home and when you're away. Having a bike on a roof isn't very useful if you can't get it down when you reach that perfect cycle path. The next thing to consider is the types of bars you'll need. This will depend on what you're using them for. Check how easy they are to fit. You'll want to remove them when you're not carrying anything and they'll cause drag and increase your fuel consumption if they're on all the time. If you're not constrained by budget, look for other useful features like aerodynamic shape to reduce drag and decent locks as a deterrent for thieves. Now then, let's talk roof tents. You'll need to find out how much weight your car's roof can take. Firstly, there's dynamic load limit. This is how much weight you can put on the roof when you're driving, and it should be in your vehicle handbook. You mustn't exceed this when you're on the road for safety and legal reasons. Secondly, there's the static load. This is the weight you can put on the car when it's stationary. Unfortunately, most car manufacturers don't quote this limit in the handbook. We've seen recommendations of anything from three to 10 times of that limit, but we recommend you stick to the lower of these. If you want to go higher, it's worth contacting the manufacturer to check whether the car can support the load of the tent plus all the people sleeping in it. You might have a roof tent that weighs 50 kilograms, but you'll need to add an extra five for the roof bars and fixings, so you'll need a car with a dynamic load limit of at least 55 kilograms before you get to the campsite. When you arrive on site and add a couple of 70 kilogram adults to climb inside, you'll need a static load of at least 125 kilograms. If you're not planning on sleeping in a roof tent, you might still want to use the roof bars for luggage. Roof boxes come in several shapes and sizes with prices to match. You'll need to make sure the car can take the weight of everything you're going to put up there, including the bars, the box, and anything you'll put inside. Don't be tempted to buy a box that's too large because you're more likely to overload it. You'll also need to have roof bars that are compatible with the box that you're planning to buy. This isn't necessarily a given if you just buy any bars from any old shop. You'll pay a bit more for a box that opens from both sides or if it has sturdy locks, so it's worth considering how important such things are for you. And finally, think about where you'll store the bars and the box when you're not using it. Roof boxes and roof tents can be very bulky items, so make sure you have some space set aside for it at home. If you have that, then now you have everything you need to know about how to pick the right roof bars for your car. Happy camping and caravanning.